this uh, over head all infatuation and be devoted to the feet of sita and the hero of her grace well ashna was yet recounting shri rama's virtues at the dawn when the joy and delight of the world broke up after finishing all purification acts shri rama was all pure and wise performed his ablutions and sent for somebody from the banyan tree he as well as his brother then met at the hair hair on their head a sight which filled the eyes of sumantra with tears with great agony in his heart and a tore full face he joined his palm and spoke in most piteous accents the king of kushna my lord charge me thus take the carrot and go with rama let him see the forest and the path in the ganga and then speedingly bring the two brothers back setting at rest all their doubts and scruples to bring lakshmana rama and sita back to their home the king has commanded me thus i shall however do as my lord bids me i assure you having supplicated in this way swantra fell at the lord's feet and wept like a child have compassion my darling and take a step to see that ayodhya is not left without a master shri rama raised the minister and thus admonished him given you have investigated the truth of religions in their entirety sibi the dichian king hari chandra suffered untold hardship for the sake of virtue the wise king ranti deva and bali upheld virtue even through many trials there is no virtue equal to truthfulness so declared the agmas vedas and puranas that virtue i have found by an easy road by abandoning it i shall be rewarded in all the three worlds to a man who is highly esteemed in fame causes agony as terrible as millions of deaths sir what more shall i say to you by urging something in reply i shall in question clasping the feet of my father and conveying my repeated obeisance to him say to him with joined palms be not troubled in any way on my account dear father you too are you too are extremely kind to me as my own father hence i pray pray with joined palms sir do everything in your power to see that my father does not feel my grief on account of grief for us hearing this conversation between the lord of the world minister sumantra the nishada chief and his people felt much distress thereafter lakshmana made some poignant remark but the lord stopped him knowing his words to be highly objectionable feeling shy highly objectionable objectionable means what do you mean by the objectionable objectionable highly objectionable 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 highly objectionable highly objectionable objectionable highly objectionable 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 means objectionable objectionable, objectionable means uh, arousing disaster distaste or opposition unpleasant or offensive is called the objectionable arousing distaste or oppositions unpleasant and op- offensive is called the objectionable arousing distaste or oppositions unpleasant or offensive is called the objectionable arousing distaste or opposition unpleasant or offensive is called the objectionable feeling shy shri rama hmm. at sure sumantra by his own self not to convey lakshmana's words sumantra then reproduced the king message sita will not be able to endure the hardship of the forest therefore both rama the chief of the and himself sumantra should endeavor to see that sita return to ayodhya otherwise left entirely without any support i shall not survive even as a fish without water there is very comfort both in her parents home as well as with the parents of her lord therefore sita can live at ease wherever she pleases at a particular time till the adversity ends adversity ends adversity and the piteousness and affection with which the king's entreaty was attended was 
attended cannot be expressed in words. On hearing his father's message, the almost full lot and Monish Sita's in countless ways. If you return the affliction of your mother in law and father in law, your preceptor and all your near and dear ones will cease. In response to her Lord advice, King Vidya's daughter said, This is most loving Lord of my life, most loving Lord of my life, most loving Lord of my life, most loving, loving, loving is um, Lord of my most loving Lord of my life. Loving means, loving means feeling or showing love or great care. Feeling or showing love or great care is called loving. Feeling or showing love or great care is called loving. Enjoying the specific activity or thing is called loving. Enjoy the specific activity or thing is called loving. Feeling or showing love or great care is called the loving. Feeling or showing love or great care is called loving. Enjoy the specific activity or thing is called loving. Enjoy the particular activity or thing is called Enjoying a particular activity or thing is called the loving. Enjoy a particular activity or thing is called the Enjoying a particular activity is called the loving. You know, listen, most loving Lord of my life, my all compassionate and supremely wise master. Loving Lord of my life, enjoying a particular enjoying activity of my life. Most loving. Enjoying a particular activity, enjoying all of my all compassionate, compassionate, uh, compassionate, compassionate, compassionate means what do you mean by compassionate? Compassionate means compassionate, 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 compassionate means uh, feeling or showing sympathy and concern for other. Feeling or showing sympathy and concern for others. Feeling or showing sympathy and concern for others. Feeling or showing sympathy or concern for others. My all compassionate and supremely wise master. Uh, can a shadow be torn away from its substance? The sunlight can never exist apart from the sun, nor can the radiance of the moon leave the moon. Having submitted her loving entities to her Lord, she spoke these charming words to the minister. You are just like my <coughs> own father or father-in-law. It is therefore most undesirable that I should urge something in reply. It is due to grief that I am constant to address you. Do not take offense at it. Sire, in the absence of the lotus feet of my lord, all other ties of friendship are of little account. I have witnessed the glory of my father's fortune. His foot is too less kissed by the crowns of the greatest monarchies. Bereft of my lord, my parents' home, which is such a abode of bliss, does not attract my mind even in an unguarded moment. My father is, in law, is no less a personage than the king of Koshna, the suzerain lord of the entire globe, whose glory is manifested in all the fourteen spheres comprising the universe, even Indra, the lord of Calistral, goes ahead to receive him and seat him beside himself on his own throne. Such is my father-in-law, Ayudha is my abode, agreeable is my family, and my mother-in-law loves me as my own mother, but without the dust from the lotus feet of my husband, the lord of Ravu, none affords me pleasure even in, even in a dream. On the other hand, impassable road, forest regions and hills, elephants and loins, lakes and streams that cannot be crossed, wild tribes such as kolas and bilas, deer and birds, all these are delightful to me in the company of my beloved Lord. Falling at the feet of my father-in-law and mother-in-law, request them on my behalf not to grieve the least for me, for I feel naturally happy in the woods. I have by my side the Lord of my life as well as his younger brother the foremost of heroes, both carrying a bow and were full of arrow with them. My mind does not feel the trial of the journey, and there is no giddiness or sorrow. Therefore, pray, grieve not on my account, even unwittingly. On hearing these soothing words from the Sita's lip, Sumantra felt uneasy as a serpent at the loss of its gem. He saw not with his eyes and heard not with his ears, and he was too agitated to speak. Sri Rama comforted him in many ways, yet his heart could, would not be pacified. He made many efforts even to accompany the Lord, but the delighter of Ravu gave him suitable replies each time. Sri Rama's commands could not be violated either. 
Tuval was a turn fate had taken. There was no help. Bowing his head at the feet of Sri Rama, Lakshman, and Sita, he turned back as a merchant who, has, who had lost his capital. As he drove the carriage, the horse turns their eyes towards Sri Rama and Ned. Overcome with grief at the sight, the Nishadas, Yoham, and beat their heads and lamented. And even beast felt so miserable on hearing torn away from his how could his subject and his father and mother hope to live without him. Sri Rama uh, dismissed Sumantra against the latest wills and himself arrived at the bank of the heavenly stream Ganga. Immediately afterwards he called for a boat, but the ferryman but the ferryman would not bring it. The letter said, I know your secret about the dust of your lotus feet. I know your secret. Secret means what do you mean by the secret? I know your secret. Secret means secret means secret. Secret. Secret means secret means secret. Secret means secret means uh, not know or seen or not meant to be known or seen by others. Not known or seen by others. Not known or seen by others is called secret. Not known or seen by others is called the secret. Not known or seen by the others is called the secret. Not own, known or seen by the others is called the secret. Not known or seen by the others. I know your secrets about the dust of your lotus feet. Uh, everyone says it is uh, no. It is some drug possessing the quality of turning things into the human being. By its very touch, a rock was transformed into the charming woman, and wood is not harder than stone. Charming, what do you mean by the charming? Charming woman. Wood is transformed into the charming woman. Charming, charming means charming, charming means charming. Charming means very pleasant or attractive, delightful, pleasing. Uh, very pleasant and attractive is called a charming. Very pleasant and attractive is called a charming. Charming man. and wood is not harder than a stone. If my boat itself get converted into the hermit wife like a hell, I shall be robbed of the very means of the substance. So robbed, robbed means, robbed means, what do you mean by the robbed? Robbed, robbed means. Robbed, robbed means uh, robbed, robbed means take property unlawfully from by force or threat of force. It's called the rob. Take property unlawfully from a person or place by force or threat of force. Take property unlawfully from a person or place by force or threat of force. It's called the robbed. Take property unlawfully from a person or place by force or threat of force is called robbed. I shall be robbed of the very means of my substance uh, in that my boat will disappear. It is by means of this boat that I maintain the whole of my family. I maintain. I know no other trade. If therefore, my lord, you must cross the river, permit me to lay your lotus feet. I will let you board the boat only when I have bathed your lotus feet. I seek no toll from you. I swear by you, Rama, as well as by King Dashyatha, that what I tell you is all true. Let Lakshmana shoot me with his arrow, if he will. But until I have washed your feet, I will not, O gracious Lord of Tusha, ferry you across. On hearing these words of the ferryman, mysterious though imbued with love, the all merciful Lord looked the Jankal's daughter, Lakshmana, and smiled. The all compassionate Lord smilingly said, Do that which may prevent the loss of your boat. Bring water at once and lay my feet. We are getting late. Take us across the same gracious Lord by uttering whose name only. Once men cross the boundless ocean of the mundane existence, and for whose three strides of the universe proved too small, thus importunated and ordinary boatman. So bewildered by the Lord of Words, the Calestial River Ganga rejoiced on beholding the nail of his toes. On receiving Sri Rama's command, the ferryman bought a wood basin 
full of water a great joy and with a heart overflowing with love he proceeded to bathe the lord's lotus feet raining flower on him all the gods envied his lot and said there was none so meritorious as he met having laved the lord feet and drunk of the water in which they have immersed along with the other members of his family he therefore transported the soul of his deceased forbears across the ocean of the matter forces and gladly took the lord across the ganga getting down from the boat sita and uh, sita and rama stood on the sands of the ganga along with guha and lakshmana the ferryman to go got down and fell protest before the lord who felt uncomfortable at the thought that he had given nothing to the ferryman sita however who would read the mind of her beloved lord took off her jewel ring with a cheerful heart the gracious lord said take your toll but the ferryman clasped his feet in great distress what have i not already received my lord the fire of my inner sorrow and indigencies has been quenched today i work for my livelihood for a long time it is only today that god has given me an adequate and the handsome return by your grace my compensation lord i want nothing now while returning whatever you bestow on me i shall thankfully accept that boon the lord as well as lakshmana and sita did their utmost but the ferryman would accept nothing the all merciful rama therefore dismissed him after bestowing on him the boon of the unalloyed devotion The Lord of Raghuraj then bathed in the Ganga, and after worshiping a newly made clay image of the Shiva, bowed his head to the deity with joined palms. Sita addressed the Kalashtri River Ganga, "Mother, pray accomplish my desire that I may return with my husband and his younger brother and worship you." In response to Sita's prayer, steep as it was in the nectar of love, the following happy utterance came from the holy stream. This is Nagudeh, he is Vidhya's daughter, beloved consort of the Shri Rama, the chief of Raghu line, who in this world is not aware of your glory. People become master of the heavens quarter. The moment you look at them and all supernatural power wait upon you with joint palms. By addressing an humble prayer to me, you have done me a favor and exalted me. Yet, O oh, venerable lady, bless you, I must just in order to fulfill my speech. With your beloved Lord and his younger brother, you shall safely return to Ayodhya. Every wish of your heart shall be accomplished, and your bright glory shall spread throughout the world. Sita rejoiced to hear these benedictory words of the goddess Ganga, and to find her favorably, favorably disposed. Then the Lord said to her, "Go home." The moment he heard this, his face turned pale, and there was a great agony in his heart. With joint palm, go ahead. Address the Lord in pathetic terms. Hear my prayer, O jewel of the Raghuraj. Let me remain with you, my Lord, and show you the path. After serving you for a few days, I shall prepare a beautiful hut of leaves for you in whichever forest, O Lord of Raghuraj, you may go and take up your abode. Therefore, I swear by you, O Chief of Raghu, to do as you bid me. Perceiving his nature, Lord Shri Rama took him with him, and Guha felt much joy in his heart. Then Guha summoned all his kinsmen and, having gratified them, sent them away. Gratified, gratified means what do you mean by the gratified? Gratified, gratified means gratified, 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 gratified means gratified, gratified means gratified, gratified, gratified. Uh, and gratified them gratified gratified means gratified 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 means gratified means trapt uh, give pleasure or satisfaction trapt is called the give pleasure or satisfaction trapt trapt so give pleasure and satisfy please gladden Trapped, uh, please, threatened, trapped, gratified means pleased, pleased. Is called the gratified. Pleased is called the gratified. Gratified, give pleasure or satisfaction. 
gratified satisfy integral or satisfy desire is called the gratify 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 therefore i swear integral and gratify a desire is called the gratify gratified them sent them away gratified and having gratified them sent them away then the lord invoked the gods ganesha and sai shiva and bowing his head to the kalashri stream ganga the lord of prabhu proceeded to the wood with his friends goha his younger brother lakshmana and sita that day he halted under a tree lakshmana and his friend goha provided for all his comforts at dawn the lords of ragu performed his morning duties and then the lord proceeded further and visited prayaga the king of the holy places places what do you mean by the places places means places means what do you mean by the places 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 means places places means places places means a particular position point or area in space or a location A particular position, point, and area of the space a location is called the place. A portion of the space designed or available for being used by someone is called the place. Place put in a particular position is called the place. Find a home or employment for place. Location is called the place. Place meaning place. Place. Uh, place means place. A particular position, point, or area in the space or location, space designed or available for being used by someone. A portion of space designed or available for being used is called the place. To present of our consideration, a portion, place, a group, a put, that is place. Place means in the. place means a physical environment is a way for admission or transit place physical surrounding and is called the place a building locality used for the specific purpose is called the a used for a particular or a specific purpose is called the place the holy prayer represent his inexhaustible his story is replete with the, the lord presented for visiting prayer the king of the holy places the king has uh, Truth for his ministers, shada for his beloved consorts, and beneficent friends like Bindhum Devta, the deity presiding over Prayaga. His store is replete with the four prizes of the human life, while the sacred region surrounding the confluence of the Ganga and the Yamuna mark his most beautiful dominion. The holy Prayaga represents his inaccessible, strong, and lovely fortress that no enemy has been even even dreamed of the possessing. All the sacred spots are his. the chosen and the valiant warriors who are staunch in battle all the sacred spots sacred spots sacred spots spots mean for to be the spots 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 means spots 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 means for to be the spots 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 means spots spot means uh, a small round or roundish mark differentiating the color or texture from the surface around it is called the spot a small round or roundish mark differentiating in color or texture from the surface or around it a particular place or point is called the spot a particular place or point is called the spot see notice or recognize mark or become marked with spots mark or become marked with spots All the sacred spots are his chosen and valiant for the holy prayer represent his inaccessible strong and lovely fortress that no enemy have ever dream of possessing the lord proceeded further and visited prayaga the king of holy place the king was took for his minister took for his minister minister means what do you mean by the head of the department is called the minister minister means head of the department head of the department is a minister minister means minister minister means uh, minister 
a head of the government department is called the minister a member of clinch especially presidential head of the uh, head of the department is called government department is called the minister head of the government department is called the minister head of the government department is called the minister the king has truth for his minister shraddha for his beloved consort and beneficent friend like bindum devta his story is replete with the four prizes of the human life his story is replete with the four prizes of human life by the sacred region surrounding the confluences of the ganga and the yamuna mark is most beautiful dominion mark is the holy prayaga represent his inaccessible strong and lovely fortress that no enemy has been dreamt of possessing possessing fortress that no enemy has been dreamt of possessing uh, fortress that no enemy has been dreamt for possessing no enemy has been dreamt for the holy prayaga represent his inaccessible strong and lovely fortress that no enemy has been dreamt for possessing the holy prayaga represent the inaccessible strong and lovely fortress lovely fortress lovely inaccessible strong and lovely fortress fortress means what do we mean that the fortress 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 means fortress means fortress fortress means uh, a military stronghold especially a strongly fortified town a military stronghold a person or thing not susceptible outside influence or disturbance is called a fortress a person is not susceptible he had proved it the fortress of the moral susceptible to outside influence or disturbance is called the fortress 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 means castle fortress fortress is the castle the holy prayer represent his inaccessible very strong and lovely fortress in accessible strong and lovely fortress that no enemy has been even uh, ever dreamt of possessing in accessible dreamt of possessing dreamt of possessing dreamt means dreamt we uh, have been dreamt for possessing dreamt means dreamt dreamt means uh, past tense of experience dream during sleep experience dream using during sleep in dagal in day dream or fantasies about something greatly desired is called the dream in dagal in day dreams or fantasies about uh, something greatly desired is called a dream in dagal in day dream or fantasies about something greatly desired is called a dream in dagal in day dream or fantasies about something greatly desired is called the dream in dagal in day dream is called and fantasies about something greatly desired is called a dream dream top was even dreamed of no uh, that no enemy has even dreamed of the possessing uh, all the sacred spots are in chosen and all the sacred spots are his sacred spots spots are is chosen and the valiant warriors chosen and the valiant warriors chosen c h o s e n chosen means what to mean by the chosen chosen and valiant warriors chosen and valiant warriors chosen means chosen chosen means uh, chosen having been selected as the best or most appropriate having been selected as the best or most appropriate is called a chosen having been selected as the as the best or most appropriate is, is called a chosen having been selected as the best or most appropriate is called a chosen having been selected as the best or most appropriate is called a chosen the holy prayaga uh, represent his inaccessible strong and lovely fortress that no enemy has been dreamt of possessing all the sacred spots are his chosen and valiant warrior chosen and valiant valiant means what we mean by valiant chosen and valiant warriors valiant valiant means chosen chosen valiant valiant means uh, sure valiant possessing or showing courage or determination is called the uh, valiant possessing possessing or showing courage or determination is called the valiant fearless fearless is called the valiant 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 fearless is called brave fearless is called the valiant fearless is courageous valley fearless is called the be valiant possessing or showing courage or determination possessing or showing courage or determination is called the valiant 
the holy flag represent his nx strong the conference the valiant warriors valiant warriors who are uh, staunch in battle and capable of crushing the host of sins who are staunch in battle staunch staunch what do you mean by the staunch staunch in battle staunch 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 means staunch in battle staunch staunch means uh, very loyal and committed in attitude is called the staunch very loyal and committed in attitude is called the strong a strong or firm construction is called the staunch a strong and firm construction is called the staunch a strong or firm construction is called the staunch very loyal and committed in attitude is called the so very loyal and committed in attitude is called the staunch the holy prayer present is uh, who was staunch in battle and capable of crushing the host of sins the confluence of the ganga and yamuna constitute his exquisite throne while the immortal bani and renowned by the name of the akshayavata represent his royal umbrella royal umbrella which captivated the heart even of sages the waves of the ganga and yamuna constitute his chauris whose very sight destroys sorrow and want whose very sight destroys sorrow and want virtuous and the holy saints wait upon this king and attend all that is that they desire while the vedas and puranas are the reporters of who recount his stainless virtues uh, virtuous and the holy saints wait upon this king and attend all that they desire virtuous and holy saint wait upon this king and attend all that they desire desire what do you mean by the desire all that desire wait upon this king and or desire desire means what do you mean by the desire 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 means desire desire means uh, desire a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen is called desire a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen is called desire a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen is called desire strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing for something to happen is called desire a strong feeling of wanting to have something or wishing to for something to happen is called a desire wishing to have some happen is called a desire uh, the holy saints wait upon the king uh, and attend all that they desire while the vedas and puranas are the reporters who recount his stainless virtue reporters vedas and purana are the reporters reportists reportists means reportists vedas and puranas are the reportists reportists means reportists reportist means reportist means a uh, person who speak or write about someone or something with great enthusiasm and delight is called the reportist a person who speak or write about someone or something with great enthusiasm and desire is called a reportist a person who speak or write about someone or something with great enthusiasm and delight is called the reportist by the vedas and purana are the reportist who recount his stainless virtues who can describe the glory of prayaga eloin as it were for the heart of the elephants in the shape of the sin the chief of tagures who is in an ocean of bliss was filled with delight to see this glorious king of holy place with his own gracious lips he told sita lakshmana and his friend guha the greatness of the prayaga greatness of the prayaga the greatness of the prayaga greatness of the prayaga greatness greatness of the prayaga greatness greatness means greatness greatness means uh, equality of being great equality of being great image or this equality of being great is called the greatness uh, greatness of the prayaga making obeisance to his holy place he cast a look round the grove and gardens and expatiated on this glory expatiated on this glory expatiated on on its glory expatiated expatiated means expatiated 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 means expatiated expatiated means uh, 
uh, expatriated past expatriated expatriated means uh, speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated making obeisance to his holy place he cast a look round the group and garden and expatriated out his glory with the utmost devotion in this way he arrived at and saw the confluences of the uh, confluence of the ganga and the uh, confluences uh, making obeisance to his holy place he cast a look round the group and prayaka his gracious lips gracious lips he looked like my friend greatness of the prayaka greatness greatness means what do you mean by the greatness greatness means greatness greatness means expatriated means speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak or write in detail about is called the expatriated speak and write in detail about is called the expatriated expatriated of its glory with the utmost devotion with the utmost devotion expected or its of its glory with the utmost devotion glory of god look round the group <laughs> glory with the utmost devotion love loyalty and enthusiasm and a person or thing is called the devotion expected glory with glory means glory glory means uh, high renown or honor won by the notable achievement magnificent great beauty magnificent and take great pride or pleasure in take great pride and pleasure in great pride and pleasure and great pride and pleasure in making up his sanctity to his holy place he cast a look round the groves and garden expatriated in glory with the utmost devotion at most most at most means what do we mean by the utmost utmost devotion at most at most at most means at most at most at most means at most atyant most extreme greatness most most extreme greatness most atyant 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 most extreme greatness most extreme greatness atyant atyant most extreme in greatness most at, extreme in greatness atyant most extreme in greatness is he cast he cast a look round the groves and garden expatriated uh, at most devotion in this way he arrived at arrived at and saw the confluence of the ganga and yamuna the very thought of which best to all choice blessing after bathing in the confluence he gladly adored lord shiva and worshiped the deities presiding over the holy prayaga according to the prescribed rituals prescribed prescribed rituals the lord prescribed what do you mean by the prescribed according to the prescribed rituals prescribed prescribed rituals prescribed prescribed means uh, uh, advise and authorize the use of for someone especially in writing advise and authorize the for someone especially in writing is uh, prescribed advise and authorize the use of uh, use advise and authorize the use of for someone especially in writing is called the prescribe advise and authorize the use of for someone especially in writing is called the prescribe advise and authorize the use of for someone a medicine or treatment for someone especially in writing medicine or treatment for someone especially in writing is called the prescribe advise and authorize the use of medicine or treatment for someone especially in writing is called the advise Uh, the advised advised called the bharadwaja and the sake class into rosam and he fell protest before uh, worship the deity presiding over the prescribed uh, advised uh, advised and uh, advised prescribed means advised uh, prescribed ritual advised and authorized especially someone in writing medicine or treatment medicine or treatment medicine and treatment Uh, the lord then called on bharatwaja and the sake clasped into his bosom as he fell protest before him the joy that the sake 
felt witness his heart cannot be described in words he looked as if he had found the bliss of oneness with brahma incarnate the chief of sikh bharat was at then uh, invoked his blessings on his lord he felt great joy in his heart to perceive that god had as it were set before him in visual form the reward of all his virtues after inquiring of their welfare the sikh allotted seat to the royal guests and offering homage to them seated them with all with uh, all with his love he then bought and pre- presented to them bulbs fruits fruits and sprouts all sweet as ambrosia shri rama with sita lakshmi and his devotee goha paratok of those delicious roots and fruit which much relish relieved of his toil shri rama felt much happy and bharadwaja addressed him in gentle tones today my penis pilgrimage and renunciations have been rewarded today my prayer meditations and dispassions have been brought to born fruit they all my prayers meditations and they all my pious practices have been rewarded by your very sight o rama there is no culmination of gain no culmination of joy other than this in beholding you all my hopes have been realized now be pleased to grant me this one boon that is spontaneous attachment to your lotus feet until a man get sincerely devoted to you in thoughts words and deeds he cannot even dream of happiness in spite of all his devices shiva rama felt abashed to hear the words of the sikh much as he was sated with joy by his love and devotion the chief of ragu then told all in countless ways the fair and the bright renown of the sikh renown fair and bright renown of the sikh renown renown means for doing by the renown renown means renown 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 means renown renown means renown renown means the siddh the siddh renown a condition of being known or talked about by many people fame is called renown a condition of being known or talked about by many people is called renown a condition of being known or talked about by many people is called the renown a condition of being known or talked about many people is called the renown the condition of being known or talked about many people is called the renown renown uh, renown the great indeed and the virtue of all virtue whom shri rama felt abashed to hear the word of the sikh he was sated with joy Uh, by his love the chief of ragu then told the countless ways of his their bright renown of the sikhs great indeed is he and the repository of all virtue whom chief of sikhs you are pleased to honor the sikh bharatwaja and the hero of ragu line thus exchange civilities and experience in a favor joy on receiving this news the people of prayaga including religious students ascetics hermits accomplished saints and recluses all folk to the hermitage of the bharatwaja in order to have a look at the charming son of the king dashrata shri rama made obeisance to them all who were most uh, who were delighted to obtain the reward uh, of their eyes they were received deriving supreme joy they gave their blessings and returned to shri ram shri ram shri ram shri ram shri ram shri ram, shri ram, shri ram, shri ram, shri ram. extolling the beauty of the royal guest shri rama reposed in the hermitage overnight at daybreak he bathed in the prayaga in the confines of the ganga and yamuna and proceeded to his journey with sita lakshmi and his attendants goha gladly bowing his head to the sikh shri rama lovingly asked the sikh tell me my lord by which route we should go smilingly in wardi the sikh replied to rama all paths are easy to you the sikh then called the people in order that they may escort shri rama hearing this call some 50 of them came glad of heart they all cherished boundless love for the shri rama and each of them said he had seen the part the sikh then sent with the royal party four religious students who had practiced all kinds of virtue in a series of the previous birth making obeisance to the sikh and receiving his permission the lord of ragu proceeded with a cheerful heart as the party uh, passed by some villages men and 
women of the village ran to have a look at them. They felt gratified in having attained the fruit of their life and returned disconsolate, sending their heart after the strangers. With great courtesy, Sri Rama dismissed the students who returned having obtained their heart desire. The Lord then crossed the river Yamuna and bathed in its waters that was as dark as his own body. Hearing of their arrival, the people inhabiting the river banks rained to see them and mindful of their duties, beholding the beauty of Lakshmana, Rama and Sita, they congratulated themselves on their good luck. Their hearts were seized with the intense longing, but they felt shy in inquiring the names and residence of the newcomers. Such of them, however, as were advanced in years and intelligent, were able to identify Rama through some devices, same devices. They related to them the whole story, telling them how Sri Rama had proceeded to the woods in obedience to his father's commands. They were all sad to hear this and dominated. The king and queen have not done well. In the meantime, they arrived an ascetic who was an embodiment of the spiritual glow, young in years and charming in appearance. His ways were unknown to the poet. He was attired in the grave of the recluse and was devoted to Rama in thoughts, words, and deeds. His eyes were wet with tears and thrill ran through his body. When he came to recognize his beloved deity, Sri Rama, he fell protest on the ground and the state of his body and mind could not be described in words. Thrilling all over with emotion, Sri Rama pressed him to his bosom. He was in such a ecstasy. Through a pauper has found a philosopher's stones. Everyone who saw them suggested as through love on one hand and the supreme reality on the other. Embraced each other in living form. Next, he threw himself at the feet of the Lakshmana, who lifted him with the heart of overflowing with love. Again, he placed on him head of the dust of the Sita's feet, and the mother Sita gave him a blessing, knowing him to be the her own child. The Nishada chief, in his turn, fell protest before the hermit, who gladly embraced him and recognized him uh, be a friend of the Sri Rama. With the cup of his eyes, he drank the nectar. Uh, of Sri Rama's beauty and was delighted as a hungry soul who has secured excellent food. Tell me, friend, what are those father and mother like that have exiled to the world children such as these? Beholding the beauty of Sri Rama, Lakshmi and Sita, men and women alike were ill at ease on account of love. The hero of love raised then and admonished his friends Guha in ways more than once and going to Sri Rama's command, he left for his home. Then with joint palm, Sita, Rama and Lakshmana made renewed obeisance to the Yamuna. Accompanied by the Sita, the two brothers gradually proceeded further, extolling the daughter of the sun god as they went. Many a traveler met them on the way, and beholding the two brothers, they fondly exclaimed, Finding all the marks of royalty on you person, you, we are so troubled at heart when you wend your way on foot. The science of astrology which tell us that men possessing such and such features should always be born on some vehicle is misleading to our mind. The path is difficult and lies through big mountains and forests. On top of it, you have delicate lady with you. In feasted with elephants and lions, the forest is too terrible to look at. We are ready to accompany you. If you enjoin us to do so, we will escort you as far as you go and will then return going your hat our head to you. In this way they offered their services over master as they were by love. A thrill ran through their body and tears came to their eyes. The all merciful Lord however dismissed them with polite and gentle words. The hamlets and the villages they lay on the road where the enemy of the towns of the Nagas and gods uh, the deities presiding over these towns said to one another, By what blessed souls and at what suspicious hour were these hamlets and the villages founded? They are so lucky, meritorious of such acquisite beauty. Even Amravati, the city of immortals, stood no comparison with the spot which were trodden by the Sri Rama's feet. The dwellers on the waysides were all embodiments of virtues. They invoke the praises of the denseness of the heaven, uh, in much in as much as feasting their eyes of the Sri Rama, who was dark as cloud, as well as on Sita and Lakshmana. And the lake and stream in which Sri Rama bathed were the envy of the lake and rivers of the God. The tree under which the Lord sat was glorified by the trees of paradise. They kissing the dust of the Sri Rama's lotus feet, are deemed herself most lucky. 
cloud screened him from the sun. The gods rained flowers and regarded him with wistful eyes as Sri Rama wended his ways, looking at the mountain, forest, birds, and beasts. Wended, wended, wended means what do you mean? Whether wended, wended means wended, wended, wended means wended, wended means wended, wended means. go in a specific direction typically slowly or by the indirect route when did when did when did typically slowly or by specific specific go in a specified direction when did when it is ways looking at the mountains forest birds and bees wherever sita lakshmi and lord of rogi happened to pass by some village all those who heard of his coming young and old men and women alike came out once and mindful of their household duties beholding the beauties of the shri rama's lakshmi and sita they obtained the reward of their eyes and felt gratified their eyes were wet with tears as they rained through their body and they were all enraptured to behold the two brothers the state of their mind could not be described in words it seemed as the uh, as the papar had stumbled on a pile of the chintamani calling their neighbors they admonished one another obtain the reward of your eyes this very moment some went and raptured to see rama and went with him gazing on him all the time other took his image into the heart through the door of their eyes and were utterly overpowered in body mind and speech seeing the cool shade of the banyan tree some spread soft grass and leave under it and said pray rest a while and you may then depart either just now or preferably next morning other bought a pitcher full of water and said in soft accents my lord rains your mouth hearing this agreeable words and seeing their extreme love the tender hearted most amiable shri rama mentally perceived that sita was fatigued and rested a while in the shade of the banyan tree when the woman regarded his loveliness with great delight his peerless beauty captivated their eyes and minds standing in a circle with their gaze fixed on the countess of shri ramchandra they all shone like a group of the chakora birds and circling the moon with his great full form possessing the hue of younger tamla of tree he fascinated by his look the mind of the million cupids lakshmana too who had fair limbs bright as lightning and charming from head to foot appeared most lovely and attracted the mind with the bark of the tree wrapped round his loins and square fastened to their waist the two brothers carried a bow and arrow in their lotus hand their matted locks were coiled on the on their head in the shape of the beautiful crown and they had a broad chest long arms and big eyes by their lovely faces which resembled that of full moon glistens with beds of sweat the pair was charming beyond words uh, their loveliness was unbounded and by wits are too poor everyone gazed on the beauty of the shri rama lakshman sita with their mind intellect and reason fully observed thirsting for love the villagers both men and the women stood motionless when as a bucks and does are dazed by the light the village women approached sita in their extreme love they would put questions to her but hesitated to do so again and again they threw themselves at her feet and addressed to her soft and gulous words which came straight from their heart princess we have a request to make to you but due to our womanly modesty we are afraid to ask you forgive our incivility madam and we not offended knowing that we are after all linguistic women both those princes are naturally graceful in form it is there from them that emerald and gold have borrowed their green and yellow luster respectively the one dark and the other fair but both in tender age which is so attractive handsome and all beautiful they have faces resembling the atmal moon and eyes like the atmal lotus was 16 for the 30 days recitation shri ram shri ram shri ram shri ram